This is a playing card box with a hole in the top corner right there. This is a pencil with a nib that just so happens to be big enough to fit through the hole in the card box. In case you didn't think this was a real hole, I can very much assure you that it is. Now watch, I close the lid in the card box, keep your eye on the box, keep your eye on the pencil, keep your eye on the hole. Watch as that hole begins to visually move all the way down to the very fabric of the card box itself. In case you didn't think the hole was real, again you can see straight through it, very much real. And just as easy as it moves down, you can move it all the way back to where it once began, just like this. If you want to learn how to make this yourself at home right now, because to be honest with you, the secret is much better than the trick itself, then all you need to do is stay tuned for the rest of the video. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. My name's Lloyd, and if you've been following the channel for the past year, you'll know that every single week, without fail, I upload brand new tutorials teaching you some of my unique and original magic creations. And, as a subscriber, you'll notice that there's certain tricks that I just love a lot more than others. One of those types of tricks is called the moving hole plot. I've explored everything from moving a hole, to turning a hole into a sticker, and even making a hole with a sharpie in a playing card and dragging the hole across the face of the card itself. I spend way too much time in my office surrounded by cardboard holes. I am constantly on the lookout for new and improved and more visual methods to make this fascinating idea a reality. And that brings us to today's video. If you'd like to win the very gimmick that we're going to make in today's video and my very own custom designed fully marked playing cards called the Moonshine Vintage Elixirs then all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel and comment something down below. So how does this darn trick work? Well, the secret is 10 times better than the actual trick itself because underneath the hood of this very basic looking box of cards it's built like a Rube Goldberg machine. But even though it's quite complicated in terms of the way it works, to make it, it's very, very simple. And I'm gonna show you how to make your own right now. Making the gimmick is incredibly easy, and this is what all of the gimmick looks like when it's been extracted apart. I take two card boxes. On the first box, I cut off the top part of the lid, and I cut a giant hole into the center. I've now pre-lined some double stick tape on the sides. The second card box, I've cut the back off so that it's just like this, and then cut the center piece out exactly, being very careful using a craft knife. From the center piece, I then cut out the Ace of Spades element right here, and I took a piece of plastic and I stuck the Ace of Spades on half of the plastic, and this plastic is the size to fit in the card box like this. Whilst you are painstakingly taking the time to cut around that ace of spades and the card box itself, let me just take a quick moment to tell you about the Society of Secrets. Everything that I post on my YouTube channel as a free tutorial is my B-side material. It's stuff that I'm happy to share for free publicly. But my best kept secrets, the best material that I've never taught anywhere before, is taught exclusively over on my Patreon. Head to patreon.com forward slash Lloyd B. Because if you like these tricks, then just wait till you get to the good ones. I then took a white card, cut the top off, okay, so it's this size, to fit in there, and punctured a hole using a hole punch in it. And lastly, I took a black cherries card, I cut it in this position, so that's the top quarter, I left this piece on and I coloured in the edges black, and then folded that around just like this. And just so you can see, the scale of it next to a card box is like that, all right? And you'll understand why that's important in just a moment. So once you've cut all your elements out and using double stick tape prepared them, this is how you put the box together. I turn the box over and the first thing I do is add in the ace of spades using double stick tape to the center. And you want that ace of spades to look like it's exactly in the place that it should be on the card box. So I'd say roughly there. Okay, just like that. Next, we're going to attach this to the top of the card box. So literally with double stick tape on the side, I can just lay this on top like this and then stick the edges down. And the final piece to the puzzle 
is to take this part of the card, place it inside the white card, and we're going to feed it inside the front of the gimmick just like so. Just like that. And that, surprisingly, is how simple the gimmick is to make. The surprising thing about this effect is that it's very, very easy to perform once you've made the gimmick. So let me run you through how to do that right now. You don't even actually need to wear a black t-shirt to use black art because you can position your hand just to cover the bottom of the box. I just added the black art thing as an extra convincer, especially for video. But this is what happens. Basically, you're set up with everything squared in, the box closed, and the hole moved as close up and as high up as the box on the box as you can. So now you just begin by showing the hole, showing the pencil, and opening the box to let everyone see that it's a real hole by moving the pencil inside. Now that you sort of know how this works, you know that it is a genuine hole. Next, I'm going to close the box back up and position my left hand or opposing hand over the end of the box here. And I'm going to play, so it's in like an overhand biddle grip. And I'm going to allow them to sort of see through to my black t-shirt if we're going to use the black art method. Then very simply, I want the hole to be towards the audience. I place the nib of the pencil in, or you could use another object. And I literally, and this is the exposed view, I just move the hole down. And you don't want to go too far, otherwise this envelope is going to open if you are using the black art option. So you go down as far as you can and just try to sort of gauge and know your own gimmick to see how far you can get to. For me, it's around here. And that's with a bicycle box anyway. So once I'm at the point of where I can't go any further, okay, I can come up, I can show again. And look how convincing this is. Because my hand's over it, which creates even more shadow, it's even more darker. I can reach inside, show them that it's a hole. And this, dis ironically, this dispels any notion that you're using black art because they can see through the hole, not realizing the black art is down here. Then, quite literally, I just move the hole back into position, but you'll notice the envelope doesn't come back with it because it's now free from the envelope section itself. Uh, and so, so from this point, again, I can show it's real. Of course, my hand is always in this position. I show it's real and close the lid and then there's a few different things you can do, uh, but th the main one that I like to do is just to, as I'm coming down to close the lid, sorry, I can just cover it with my hands. And because it's black art, you're not going to worry about flashing. And I can just square this in to the box as I close it up. And you'll notice that when it does square in, it'll tend to push the hole up. So what you can do is close everything together, take a look at the box yourself, and then if you need to, you can just move that hole into the right position so you can show where it is. So from the top, very, very simple. Here's a box, here's a hole, here's a nib of a pencil. Go inside, show the holes legit. Place your hand here, slide the hole as far as it'll go, show that it's real inside, slide it all the way back, and then square everything in. And that's the surprising simplicity behind how to perform this trick. So remember folks, if you do want to win my Moonshine playing cards and the gimmick that we just made in today's video, then remember to comment something down below and subscribe to the channel. If you've already done that and you're a new subscriber, then I recommend checking out this video next before binging the rest of the channel. And if you want to learn my best secrets, my exclusive tricks that I've never taught anywhere else, then head over to patreon.com forward slash Lloyd B and join the Society of Secrets today.